Hello, Case of Runner Up Kaiju here. If you didn't tune in last week, I have put up a very cheap little display for October when I am doing my 31 spooky movie binge that I did even before I had the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about 1957's Night of the Demon, also known as Curse of the Demon. This is the release from Indicator. It has the US and UK theatrical cut and longer cut. I don't know if it's uncut or director's cut. Whoa! <laughs> Last time there was no giant monster. This time, this guy on the cover, if it'll autofocus, is quite giant. So that's something to look forward to. This is my review of Night of the Demon. Nineteen fifty seven's Night of the Demon, also known as Curse of the Demon, sees a scientist finally believe in demons and beg for a hex on him to be lifted, but it's too late. And soon another scientist who was supposed to meet with him quickly faces what very well may become the same fate. In addition to the practical demon, the film also features a Halloween party, Stonehenge, and a scene on a train, all of which I'm quite fond of. Throw in some great leads and a script that makes it feel like we are constantly learning alongside them. This is a great time. Musical cues are good. Lightning and fog effects set great moods. A couple of Dutch angles and one jump scare, both of which are awful if overused, are perfectly placed here. Some of the effects don't hold up. Shaky projection work. Extremely visible wires at the end, which very well could have been hidden before a remaster, and sadly the monster itself doesn't look great in either of the ways it's brought to life. But none of those ruin the movie for me, and I'd recommend Night of the Demon, Curse of the Demon, and any of his versions for at least one watch. Thanks for watching.